Okay, so uh, here we are then, and you know, I have a knack of finding some of the weirdest distros, already different ones, and I came across this one called uh, Space Fun, which is a rolling, always stable release of Debian, Guna, and Linux. And basically, the idea behind these is they offer a complete desktop experience. Uh, Space Fun is their flagship edition based on NXD. Ice Fun is a specific version for young astronauts. AKA, it's for children between the ages of 4 to 14. And Moonlight is for the experienced space trap. And all of these are available in 32-bit and 64-bit editions. Uh... Uh, very, uh, really interesting website, I must say. Um, haven't seen a daily count in a long time, and uh, lightweight and fun. And yeah, you can customize this as well, I believe, especially the custom edition. And the uh, interesting website, really, uh, as well. Uh, more in part, uh, uh, a little bit about the also traveling in space and. Uh, why you need the best OS, and you know, I think it's 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 cute. It's nice to sometimes in the run of life see something that's maybe not as serious as everything else. So, what I'll do is we're gonna look at all three of them. So for this video, let's look at Space Fun. So approach near glitch and. Find space fun rolling edition on chose the 64 bit. I'm just going to say it's Debian 12, 8 ish gigs of memory, 8 CPU cores, uh, 80 gig hard drive, and this will be space fun. Finish that. And let it push out. Uh, live system and this has a really fun uh, boot uh, graphic uh, actually that's quite quite cute first I grab a noting screen there there's a lot of rockets so give them they choose they keep the theme throughout their OS uh, okay so as you can see really lightweight uh, desktop environment as I mentioned already and it's first do a quick install using Calamari's and as you can see it's been data quite recently Debian 12 uh, a mesh can erase the full disk go a mesh go strong password Install and clear the guard. Always interesting to see what type of distress people can come up with. And then we'll take a look uh, once this is installed. Uh, and that part's done, so restarting now. And ah, still enough that uh, screen. Okay, Darian. Six one three kernel and you can wait for it to load. Didn't take too long to install. Let's fix this resolution. We just went there, so I guess it's under preferences monitor settings or uh, nine twenty by ten eighty. Yes, much better. Uh, oh, okay. Save. Cool. Um, right. Start uh, the terminal. Okay. So, basically, latest curves plus 3.0.2. Memory is 
just using 846 megs, 3 over 8, well, over 7 gigs of free memory. Uh, they have uh, application finder here, which is a really quick way to find whatever you need, I guess. Um, so let's close that up. Uh, PC Man FM, basically the file manager. Uh, usually used in older desktop environments and desktop environments that don't really it need as much uh, storage need as much uh, performance uh, Firefox comes with privacy badger pre-installed and triplock origin possibly that is the standard some same defaults uh, accessories here, you've got a whole list of things. You've got mouse pad, which is a simple text editor. You've got uh, parcel light, which is a clipboard manager, I believe. And that's still loading. You've got film, you've got XR cam, you've got key pass, you've got image viewer, you've got calculator. And uh, you've got archive manager. Uh, you've got YouTube download. Interesting. Okay, uh, you have education stuff, uh, you know, your games as company installed here is absolutely mind numbing. You've got stuff from Gravity Wars. Which I have absolutely no clue how to play it. To you've got uh, Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Provided you have the original files, then you can uh, use it. If you don't have original file sets, it's not going to load. Uh, they've even got things like dust racing, 2Ds. Uh, I, I, I guess run that. Okay. Okay, the performance isn't great because I'm running with some virtual machine and there's like no graphics acceleration. Come on, man, it's still the track. What are we going to lose? Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, so you just had me uh, some out of the other games here that's uh, really got uh, a suck on there. I've got Moonlander. Um, which is basically, you know, emulation trying to learn on the moon. Uh, which I'm not very good at. So... Oh, 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 So, I mean, it's a collection of random stuff to uh, play with, waste of time. I mean, it's some pretty interesting stuff in here, I must say. Uh, even pinball. Okay, I mean, we're not going to go through this in game in here. No table load. What? Oh, left to the table there. Anyway, I can get uh, really too distracted in in the game's uh, path from here. Okay, last we're done for two graphics. Empty physics. I have no idea how this thing works. Again? What are I doing here? And then something. Anyway, uh, there's things into the graphics like uh, editing your diagrams and diagraphics, which is if you need to do a really basic flow chart or something, uh, you know, you can use something like this 
which uh, could work pretty well. Uh, there is a, it's such a whole assortment of stuff that's in here. I think you could say it's bloated, or you could say it's, it's just the most random stuff in it. Which, in all honesty, I think is absolutely great fun. Uh, then, I mean, you know, they've even got uh, scripts, you know, for your post layouts. Uh, office thing and have focus reader, ebook reader, library writer, so focus writer if you want to write without distractions. So, this is things writing without being distracted by a fancy GUI. And then, of course, you can go and you can save this. So, open text format. And send on the desktop. And at the same time, you can just click that. Really a great piece of software. Um, great notebook, uh, daily channel of a calendar. So, if you want to you now create a journal, then you've got some software to do. So, uh, I've really thought about. Some of the most random stuff. Um, you know, desktop recorder, you play. Uh, you know, getting cheap Potter for subscribing to podcasts, Bizarre Audacity, Audacious. I mean, some of these you don't need more than once, but hey, why not? Um, system tools, Miflack Commander, even Cheat Debbie, Installer, PF Sense, Package Update. Okay normal traditional package update and uh, this is haven't seen this app in a long time uh multi-writing you know writing multiple ices at once multiple usbs uh btop yeah i mean it's just a really great uh distro you know file config super config text editor config users and groups it is isn't for everyone, and some people might say, oh, this is bloated, but hey, if you, maybe you've got an older PC around the house, and, you know, maybe you it doesn't have internet access, and you wanted to do a couple of random things, or, or or just an older machine, and you want to play one or two older games, and maybe write one or two documents, and um, listen to a bit of music, why not? Uh, I think this is really great fun, nice to play with something a bit different. And yeah, if you've used it or you have comments, uh, leave them below. Thanks for watching.